All right, thanks for that. We begin with that birthday party at an Airbnb for a one-year-old child. It ended with a Polk County Sheriff's Office homicide investigation. Deputies say they're searching for the person or people responsible for shooting a man and a woman in their 20s from the Orlando area. News Channel 8's Justin Shecker has that story. Around 1230 Sunday morning, the shots could be heard from a Nest camera on Robin Road. Haley King moved to this Davenport neighborhood last week. I still feel nervous because this is a nice neighborhood and I didn't know there was parties allowed over here. Parties are not allowed at Airbnb properties according to the rental company's rules. It's designed for vacation and to, for people to enjoy it, but not for, uh, you know, if you want to have a party, go to a park or rent a hall. Eight on your side has learned deputies respond to this home in Davenport between 6 and 6.30 Saturday night. They say a neighbor called to complain about the noise and the number of cars parked here in the street. The sheriff's office says she was satisfied after deputies spoke to the person renting this Airbnb, but then six hours later, deputies returned and found the two gunshot victims. This was not the traditional house party that we normally see that ends up in a shooting. Sheriff Grady Judd says the party was for a one year old child's birthday. The 27 year old Orlando man who died received several phone calls around 11 p.m. An hour and a half later, the sheriff says he walked outside and delivered two plates of food to a car. As the victim walked back to the house, deputies say he was shot multiple times. The sheriff says there was a second round of gunfire when a suspect hopped out of the car. Victim two, who is a 26 year old black female, she runs to the door and as she's running to the door, she is shot through the door. Sheriff Judd says deputies are likely trying to track down two suspects from the car that fled. If you come here and shoot someone, we will chase you to the ends of the earth until we get you locked up in jail. That was Justin Shecker reporting. Now the sheriff says the 26 year old Sanford woman who was shot is expected to make a full recovery. She's already out of the hospital, but there is a $5,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest.